I'm Camille from Camille's Primary Ideas, and today I have a singing time lesson plan for teaching the primary song, We'll Bring the World His Truth. Now, this is a classic, so make sure your primary knows this song. And they might already just be familiar with it just because it is so popular. All right, so for this activity, I recommend this really fun printable. Now, don't get scared by it. You will need 20 copies of this. Now, it's it contains 100 of Helaman's 2000 Stripling Wires. So if you print 20 pages, you'll get all 2000. Now, this just provides a fun, fun visual to see how many 2000 Stripling Wires there were who were saved miraculously in the story. So what you do is you print them. If you can see, I've taped the edges together. I did both sides. And then I rolled them around a paper to towel roll. So to, when you unroll it in singing time, you will probably want, you'll need to get a helper so you can gradually unroll the whole thing. This is just so fun to pull out as you are teaching this song. Okay, so to start for the singing time lesson plan, I recommend having the pianist softly play the song as you quickly summarize the story of Helaman and his 2000 sons. Now I do have a summary that you can you can read from. Um, I would recommend getting familiar with it so you can make better eye contact with the primary, but there is a story summary available um, that can help you. Now, if you also want, you could even ask a primary child beforehand to summarize this story, or you can maybe show a video of it. Anyway, there's a few options, but I, the easiest way would just be for you to quickly summarize and you can read it. So as the pianist is playing the song, no singing, you are just describing this story. And I also recommend getting the gospel art book picture of Helaman and his 2000 stripling warriors when you're, when you're getting to this part. So you could hang that up on the wall just to start your story. And then when you come to the actual 2000 stripling warriors part, that's where you can unroll your scroll to, to show the visual of how many stripling warriors that actually was. So you'll just wow your primary. It'll hopefully go across the whole front of your primary. So when you're finished summarizing, you'll gradually want to write these four phrases on the board. Now this lesson plan focuses primarily on teaching the chorus. Um, I have another lesson plan, I'll link that below, that I did not come up with, but it's pull actions for teaching all the verses and the chorus. It's really fun, really simple. Um, you'll just need to cut some pool noodles. See how these were just into about mm, six inches, five or six inches. I think I just measured mine so I could use the whole length equally, cut it into that would match. And then you just need to cut them in half. And I just used a bread knife and a cutting board. And actually my 10 year old daughter, she did it for me she had a great time. So I'll make sure I link to that lesson plan for teaching the verses, um, really fun. But for the chorus, you'll just want to gradually put each phrase up on the board, we are as the army of Helaman. And then for added movement, and then you'll just want to sing it. So for added movement, you'll want to have the children stand up on the we and pretend to be like warriors, maybe strike a pose. We are as the army of Helaman, you know, and then move again. We have been taught in our youth and tell them to just do something different every time just for fun. And we will be the Lord's missionaries to bring the world his truth. I mean, I just made those up on the fly. So anything that they want, they can just, every time maybe you could tell them, okay, I want you to try a different pose that you didn't do the time before. Or maybe you saw your neighbor do a fun one and make it different every time and they move. So they'll do four different poses for each phrase on the chorus. And then optionally, there's some directed listening questions that are really easy to ask and simple that contain that pertain to the chorus so what will we bring and then you would sing it with your posing and his truth and then the next question whose missionaries will we be and you sing it again posing and it's the lord's and what important word comes on the high note i love this question in the last phrase so you really have to listen what is the high note and you can even if as you're directing make sure um, and we will be the Lord's missionaries. So if they have that visual of your pitch leading, the Lord's missionaries. So, and that's the answer, the Lord's. 
So you want to help the kids notice how the composer began the phrase low, allowed the melody to climb up to the word Lord, and then the melody went back down again. It's kind of neat. Um, then sing the chorus again. What other words occur on the same tune as we will be the Lord's missionaries? And it's we are as the army of Helaman. So if you want to pitch lead just so they can see that visual, that also helps answer the questions. And then the last one is when have we been taught in our youth? So striking poses in between, try and tell them to try and not repeat any poses for fun. Um, if you're a brave warrior and you could do draw, draw a sword, I'm losing all my papers, draw a sword, just like it's in here when I drop all my papers. Um, anyway, so really fun visual. Don't skip doing this. The kids will love it. And if you want, they could even roll and unroll it each time. You can maybe get two helpers to roll and unroll as you sing and see if they could get to the very end of the scroll, time it just right. Um, so when you finish singing the song, they finish unrolling it. So just some fun things that you can do. Just make sure you have, you'll need definitely two helpers because this is really, really long when you put 20 pages together. So I hope that helps you with singing time this week. I'd love to hear how it goes in the comments.